Okay, third story, John Corzine. He's back. Yes, he's, he's back. He's back. He's got his hedge fund. I just, can I just, he's got approved. I remember like sitting in a newsroom when this happened on like a Friday, at, like whatever, 5 p.m., being like, oh my God. And this was like the thing. I just can't believe the story. Yeah, you know, he's back but with shackles, right? I mean, I thought well, the yeah. quote that was in the story today was quite harsh from Maglin Capital's co founder. I really don't understand what magic Corzine is going to pull off with these kinds of shackles. He has to be able to sell the assets within five days. And so that's part of the issue here. He can't invest with things with a lot of a liquidity, and people are thinking markets are becoming more illiquid in general. But in fairness, this refers to what Alex was talking about. It's understandable if the SEC said, if you want back in, fine, but you got to make sure we don't get in the jam we got into mm -hmm, last time. Mm -hmm. We don't want to see and, any and, more and, of that. And, and let's just remember what happened. Like, yeah. he basically made a lot of uh, prop bets on European sovereign debt and couldn't get out of it. Right. That's exactly right. And he just lost a lot, a lot of like billions, six yeah. billion dollars, right? That's exactly right. And so that's another part of the restrictions here. So there will be restrictions on prop trading as well. And being able to put money aside and trade it separately, that's not going to be happening for him in this scenario. But with that said, he will but be trading again. He wants to be back <laughs> in the game. Who yeah, can yeah. blame him? Unreal. I, I, I swear. I remember it was like it was yesterday. I remember when he was a senator. Okay, you win. Fine. <laughs>